I had somebody on my YouTube channel ask me a question about the Papa music clocks. So I'm going to try to explain the answer to them. The little man is on this lever here. And there should be a little bit of spring action into this lever. This is just a clock that i am been working on. I just haven't finished working on it. But if I was to pull on this spring, not with those pliers, but if I was to pull on this spring, it will give me more spring action in it, which it did. And now when I open the door, it automatically shuts. And so, this wire right here, keeps the little man from going out too far. So he's on this post right here. The same way with Cuckoo. There's a little rod that stops the Cuckoo from going out too far in the door. But getting on to the music box... This lever right here is what the cuckoo trips. Every time it goes out the door, it pushes on this lever. And if I was to put uh, pressure on the music box, whenever, whenever the bird comes back in, it's when the music plays. The little man comes out the door because this lever right here goes outside the cam. There's a slot. It's a wheel like this, except for it has a V in it. That lever goes into that V, which allows the little man to come back inside the door. But right now, it's on the outside of the wheel, which allows the little man to go outside the door. There's that V coming up. But there's also this wire right here that pushes this piece of metal out of the way. And you should be able to see a hole in that cam. That wire is going to go into that hole after pushing this piece of metal out of the way. And that's going to stop the music if your music continues playing it's because this piece of wire that is it's got a um a down piece to it that goes into that hole after it pushes this piece of metal out of the way I'll show it to you See, it pushes it, and then it goes into that hole, which in turn allowed the little man to come back inside because this wire went in there into that cam, that B on that cam. This whole setup here is only for this bracket. And if I push this bracket out of the way, here's that wire right 
here that I'm pointing to that has the bent piece on it that goes into the hole. Hopefully you can see it. But, again, every time, I gotta wait for the music to finish, but right now, the little man is outside the door because this wire is riding on the, on the wheel and not inside the V. So, what's, what's this wire right here? Okay, so the wire came back. That one wire went inside the hole that I told you about. But whenever the cuckoo pushes on this wire, the music plays. I have not been able to figure out how to prevent the music from playing. You know, some people say that you can adjust these things to prevent the, the music from playing, but I have not seen it. I don't know how to do it, so every one of my Papo Cuckoo Clocks that play music play on both the hour and the half hour. But they have some really nice tunes to them. I'll let you hear it. And that's just on this. Papo uh, Cuckoo Clock. Other ones play different tunes. The chain assembly it, for the music are these two holes in the back. The movement is just like a regular 25 movement. Except for it says Made in Tokyo, made in Japan. Tesla Clock Company, LTZ, which is the same company that is Papo. And these clocks were made in the 50s and 60s. Sorry, they started in the 50s. They made them for a period of about 10 years. Now I'm going to see if I can put this music box back in. But I've got a lot of tangled up chains. Like I said, it's just been a clock that I've been working on. The guy needed a question answered. I'm hoping that I'm answering his questions. I'm waiting for him to respond to an answer, um, a message that I sent him. You should be able to see this wire right here. This wire has got a bend on it. And like I said, if your music will not shut up, it could be two things. If the, if the, if this wire here is too far forward, 
and the cuckoo clock is not able to, if the cuckoo does not able to go back far enough, the music could continue to play, but more than likely, it's this wire right here that has a bend on it that's not going into that hole when the music is all done. Here comes the, the brass piece that it's going to push out of the way. Here I'm pushing it out of the way. And if you look straight down here, you'll see that hole that it fits in. So as the music plays, it pushes that brass piece out of the way and then it falls into that hole. And I can no longer turn anything because the governor fan is being stopped by this lever because that piece fell into the hole. You know, uh, people say that you should be able to adjust it for the hour and the half hour. On a German cuckoo clock, you can, because this lever is tripped by the lever that is on the movement itself. It depends on how far it pulls out that lever. But on this type of clock, the only time that the Every time the bird goes out the door and the bird goes out the door the same distance on both the half hour and the hour, every time the bird goes out the door, it trips this lever. So I don't see how it can be prevented from playing music on the half hour because... The bird is what trips it. Not the movement, but the bird. So for those people who have these clocks and their clocks only play on the hour, I want you to explain to me how that is. Because, like I said, every time the bird goes out the door, it trips this lever, which in turn trips the music. And as you can see, I always love these shirts. This is my 1880 Alexander Fleeg clock. That is the biggest cuckoo clock that I have. And it is a shirt designed with my inputs by Seth Linkfelter. It says, not for sale. It's my children's inheritance. What better way to show the love for your passion, to advertise your passion? I get people commenting on my shirt, shirts all the time. So uh, get with Seth Linkfelter. Let him design you a shirt from one of his uh, uh, sorry, from one of your clocks that you love. Uh, you could buy this shirt and many other shirts on Redbubble. And I will leave a link in the description of this video. And leave a link to Seth's YouTube channel at the end of this video. If you do nothing else... Uh, please hit the subscribe button to his YouTube channel.
he is very professional. I wish my videos were as professional as Seth's videos. He doesn't put as many videos out as I do. And that's because he takes the time to edit, to create professional videos. He gives you the history of, of the clocks, as much history as he knows and can find. But his videos are extremely professional. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to his YouTube channel. If you do, if you even if you don't order a shirt or have Seth design you a shirt, at least hit the subscribe button. And may God bless each and every one of you. The wire that comes off the music box that trips the little man, it has to be behind the little man's post. On the rear side of the little man's post. If it's in front of the little man's post. I'm going to have to take this bella back out so y'all can see things. Stand by. There. You should be able to see things now. But as I was saying, the wire that's attached to the music box has to be on the rear side of the post that the little man sits on. If it's in front of the little man's post, he will never go out or he will never go out. It has to be behind because when the music is done playing, this wire will come back and then that coiled wire that I showed you earlier is what brings him back inside the door. The wire that's on the bird post that, that the cuckoo bird trips, there has to be space between this wire and the cuckoo bird post because if not, that lever I told you that goes into that hole, it will never go into that hole. And right now, I don't have enough space to make it go in that hole. And so, um, this clock has got other issues, and I was just, the purpose of this video was to explain that information more. But as you can see, the music continues to play because that wire I told you about that go, supposed to push that lever out of the way and goes into the hole can't do it because the this is not been right. I have to adjust it all. So, anyway, I hope you all like this video. I hope that this explains more of the Popo music boxes to the person that needed my help. May God bless each and every one of you.